Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and in this video I want to show you how to customize the home page of the Mistyle theme. Uh, Mistyle is one of the more popular free uh, themes built specifically for WooCommerce. Um, so I've had a lot of questions on how to uh, make it look unique and uh, maybe get rid of this home page uh, featured image banner, static image here and uh, change around just some of the layout of the home page. This is what it looks like on a default uh, installment uh, of Mistyle and WooCommerce. Uh, this is a, a, a demo site, sportstees.info, that I just set up for this. And, and all that I've done so far is uh, install the WooCommerce uh, plugin, create the WooCommerce pages, and install the Mistyle theme, um, and then just uploaded a home page featured image banner. Uh, and then we have four products out here just so just to give you a quick background of where we're at right now and that's uh, and we're out on the home page right now so what I want to do in this example is I want to replace this image here with a dynamic uh, image slider content image slider uh, using the slide deck 2 image slider um, and then I want to just kind of change the overall layout um, of this uh, home page and make it unique so uh, that's what we're going to show you how to do in this video. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on setting up the the uh, actual um, content slider uh, with Slide Deck 2 in this video. I'll create another one that shows you how to create uh, custom uh, content sliders with Slide Deck uh, in an up and coming video. But uh, in this one, I just want to show you more of the functionality or the steps uh, that I go through to make a unique uh, home page layout with the Mistyle theme. All right, so uh, let's get started by logging into the WordPress admin, and then I'm just going to go to Pages and All Pages. What we need to do is we need to create um, a home page and a blog page as steps one and two. Um, as you'll see here, there's a link in the navigation when you activate Mistyle for a home page. But if we go into Pages and look for a home page to edit, uh, there isn't one. So we're going to create create our own home page. So let's start by doing that. Let's just click add new. And then let's just call this home. And then under template drop down right here, we're going to switch it to full width. Okay? And then just go ahead and publish the page. And we'll come back to this home page uh in a minute and start customizing it. But f uh before we do that, let's go ahead and create a blog page. So we're going to just going to click on add new. and then I'm just going to title it blog and then under the template drop down right here I'm going to change it to blog and then publish that page so now we've created our own home page and our own blog page let's adjust the reading settings as the next step to make that home page that we created the actual home page of the site alright so go to settings and then reading and we want to change this from your latest post to a static page Let's check that radio button for the front page. We want to select uh, that home page that we created. And then for our post page, we want them to go to the blog. All right. So go ahead and save changes. Okay, so now if we go out to the site and uh, refresh the page, we should just see a blank home page. This is going to be the new home page that we're going to start to customize. You'll also notice two home page links in the navigation right now. So we'll change that after we customize the home page. All right, and we also have our blog page, and if I click on that, you should see that hello world default WordPress blog post. There it is. So all your your posts that you do for your blog will go to the blog page with the setup. All right, so let's go ahead and start customizing uh, this new home page uh, that we created. So let's go back in here and go to all pages. Let's find that home page and click edit. The first thing I want to do is I want to insert um, an image slider using, again, uh, the Slide Deck 2. And I've already set up Slide Deck 2. I'll just quickly open it so you take a look at what it, the settings look like in the WordPress admin. And this is a, a, a premium plugin uh, that you can create uh, completely custom image slider or content sliders, really, whether they're images, video, HTML, text, or you can pull in content from just about any social media. Uh, uh, platform out there um, and in a, again I'm in the process of creating a full tutorial on slide deck 2 
um, because I think it is probably the best image slider for WordPress right now. Um, but in this video, I'm going to skip over the details of actually setting this up and stick to uh, customizing the, mis the home page of the Mistyle theme. So I've already created a slide deck for the home page. So I'm back on my home page and I'm just going to go ahead and click on uh, Insert Slide Deck. And I'm going to, I'm going to select uh, this home page slide deck image slider that I created. And you, you can see when I click that, it puts a short code for that um, image slider in uh, right there. So if I go ahead and uh, update the page, and there we go. We have our uh, image slider that now is in place of that static featured banner image uh, that we had on the home page. Um, and I haven't spent any time, as you can tell, uh, probably tell on uh, graphics or making it look real nice. I'm just trying to demonstrate functionality in this video. So please don't get caught up on uh, the design or, or images that I've created. I have just quickly threw these together for the purpose. Uh, but obviously, you'd want to spend time really making your slider look cool. Um, but uh, So now we have uh, an image slider here. Let's go ahead and underneath the image slider, I want to put some featured products. So we'll do that using WooCommerce shortcodes. So if we go back into the admin to the home page, I'm just going to uh, type in uh, featured, uh, featured products, and then I'll give it a heading of H2. And then underneath that, I'm going to select, I'm going to click on this Woo icon here to insert the featured product shortcode. There you can see featured products and the shortcode's inserted right there. And if I go out to this, if I update that, and we'll go take a look at the site and see what that looks like. Okay, so now if I scroll down underneath the image slider, we have uh, four featured products show up right here. Um, so Underneath that, I'm going to, let's put some content here, and then we'll put uh, product categories down here, and then maybe some more content. And again, using uh, short codes, the WooCommerce and WooTheme short codes that are in the rich text editor right here. This is the icon for the WooCommerce short codes, and this is the icon for the uh, list of WooTheme short codes. You can use both of them and uh, play around with them and, and create a uh, completely unique uh, home page uh, for your Mistyle theme. But let's go ahead and let's just put some uh, some dummy content uh, right here. And it would be a good idea to add some content to your home page just for SEO purposes. So let's just say that would be some content that I'd have on my home page. And then underneath that, um, I'm going to put a divider right here, a divider line across the entire width of the home page. So to do that, I'm just going to click on that Woo icon and dividers and let's just select whoops, horizontal rule. So that'll put a divider there for me. And now I'm going to put uh, product categories here. So product categories. And I'll give that a header of H3. And then let's go ahead and insert the product categories using the short code uh, right here, product categories. Okay, and then underneath that, I'll just put some more uh, dummy text for now. All right, but uh, let's just say that that's how I want my homepage to lay, uh, the layout of my homepage to look. I'll go ahead and click update, and we'll go see what that looks like. So if I scroll down, we have our featured products, some text here. Uh, our divider line shows up right here, and then product categories uh, right here, and with more uh, content underneath. So play around with um, the the Woo themes and Woo uh, Commerce short codes to find the layout that you want for uh, your specific e-commerce site to make it look unique. Um, I, again, I just went through that real quick um, because I want to focus more on functionality than on design in this tutorial. But spend some time and and uh, find a layout that works well for you. Now, obviously, we're not done. We have to change around, uh, customize this navigation. We don't want two home uh, link showing up and we want uh, to control what pages and categories show up in our main navigation right here. We also want to get rid of this home page title. We don't need that to show up. We'd rather have that go away and move this image slider up closer to this divider line right here. So let's start by customizing the navigation. All right, To do that we're going to go to um, appearance and menus 
and we're going to create a custom menu. All right, so we'll just call this primary navigation, or primary menu, we'll call it, and then click create menu. All right, and then in this drop down right here for primary menu, we're going to select primary menu, and then as the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a home page uh, link. Um, and this is important, the home link should be created in this custom links widget right here. Don't select it from pages, actually create a custom link home page. So I'm just going to go out to the site and copy the URL to the home page, uh, sporttees.info, and then just paste it in. And then I'm going to just give it a label, obviously, of home, and add that to the menu. Okay. Uh, for all other uh, links in the primary navigation, I can e I'm just going to use these checkboxes uh, for the uh, pages and categories that I'd want to display. Um, but it's an important point to make that your home page needs to be create home page link needs to be a custom link. Um, so I want uh, a blog to show up. I want about us to show up, and let's say I want uh, shop uh, to show up in the navigation. So I'll just click add to menu. Okay, and then um, uh, now you can drag and drop this if you want uh, to adjust the layout however you want, but in that case, that looks good to me. We have home, blog, about, and shop, so I'm going to go ahead and just save it. And save menu as well. Okay, and if we go out to the site and refresh the page, we should see a new navigation show up. Alright, so now we have just one home page link. That goes to our new customized uh, Miss Style theme home page layout. And we have a blog uh, uh, page link that goes to wherever, uh, that will display our blog post and whatever other pages that we'd want to put up here. Again, you can do that just using a custom, uh, creating a custom menu. Uh, you can also customize this, uh, the links up here, um, by creating a top menu. You just click on this plus tab go through the same process of creating that uh, top menu and then just select top menu from the drop down if you create it and you can control this top navigation up here as well um, but for now I just wanted to focus on this so now we have one home page a blog about and shop uh, we're almost done now uh, last thing I want to do is get rid of this home we don't need that to show up so to do that just go uh, into pages and all pages Go ahead and click edit for home. Go ahead and delete the title and click update. Okay, so the home title is now gone. Our image slider has been moved up and we have a completely uh, unique uh, home page for the Miss Style theme. Uh, we've replaced that static banner image and uh, with a, a dynamic content slider. Uh, so hopefully this uh, is helpful. It gives you some ideas on ways that you can customize um, your site if you do use MISTYLE. Um, if you have questions, please feel free to ask them uh, by, by leaving a comment on uploadwp.com. It's the best way to reach us. In the next video, I'll go in depth on setting up Slide Deck uh, and creating custom content sliders with it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for taking time to watch this video. My name is Adam with uploadwp.com.